Good evening and uh, welcome to uh, the big shave on May the 12th, 2012. It's an evening shave. Uh, I haven't shaved for a couple of days so I've got quite a, a decent growth and um, this is, I've been, I haven't shaved for bang on a month. Well I've shaved for, I've been shaving all the time but I haven't been, um, I haven't been videoing the shaves and bit, there's a particular reason why and I'll, I'll sort of keep it, keep it brief really. I've, um, I've not been in work, I've been, I've been off work ill and I didn't really want to be putting videos on the internet um, when I was ill so um, and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the illness as well I've been a bit depressed really uh, I was depressed with a few things but mainly the job I was doing and um, decided to resign uh, I came to the conclusion that I wasn't very happy with work and it was causing me uh, a great deal of stress and um, and I gave up and of course that means I'm going to be working for less money uh, but I think there's like four, four elements to people's lives is that you can be rich or poor, happy or sad and it would be nice to be rich and happy um, or even um, uh, happy and poor so I've gone for the happy and poor approach again um, and we'll see what happens you know I'm not going to die I'm not going to starve to death for, for God's sake so uh, I'm on the happy tablets at the moment so um, and they've just kicked in last week so I feel a lot better so I'm on my last two weeks of uh, noticing work and um, that's it really I'm, I'm back to being uh, at the radio station full time I've got a few other irons in the fire um, but um, that's really what, what the point is really I've sort of I've been sort of saying, putting things on Facebook, but I haven't been, you know, I didn't really want to be on here talking about my troubles and woes. I did enough of that last year. Um, okay, what, what are we going to look at first? I'm going to look at the calendula soap first. Um, I'm going to sh show you, this is, this is it, basically. It comes in two different colours. It comes in a sort of creamy colour. It comes in an orangey colour. And I was at a farmer's market a few months ago, well, about five weeks ago, and um, there was someone selling soap. And I asked them whether they could reformulate it uh, to be a bit more um, sooty, you know, a bit more sudsy for for shaving. And uh, he said they could. So I've got them to make forty bars of the stuff. It looks like this. It's not very, it's not very fashionable looking. It's just a sort of white white lump of soap. Um, but it's all natural ingredients. It's all. I think it's sunflower oil, soy oil, um, and calendula. No calendula. Is, is like a, it's got sort of medicinal properties and it's not it's still not a fantastic um, lather it's not like loads of soap lather but it's actually really smooth it goes on like paint you, you paint it on and I'll, I'll lather up while I'm talking anyway I'll get some going in a bowl I've got a new bowl as well another car boot sale special this is a little wooden bowl with the lip on it it's great it's great for lather enough for the simple reason that the um, the soap the lather doesn't go over the lip much. It all sort of gathers, if you look at this now, it sort of gathers in the lip. And then you just keep going round and round and round. I'm using the, uh, the favourite badger brush. And, uh, and I'll just keep talking again. Uh, and I'll stop in a second because I've got some razors to show you as well. Uh, okay, so a couple of razors. These are off eBay. I've got them particularly uh, cheap. This is the, the first one. I've been using this quite a lot. It's a, it's a Parker. Now it came in a box, came in this box. Uh, people don't talk much about Parker razors, they're quite cheap, they're about 20 quid. These are the new ones, but everyone says they're made in India and they're not, the build quality's not very good. Now I'm assuming this is an old Parker, because I can't see anything that looks like it. It's got, it's got sort of like a beveled edge, scallops taken out of it, and an edge at the bottom. And it's, uh, the quality, the build quality's really good. Um, you screw it tight. And it bend, it really does bend the blade right over. But there's a bit of a gap as well. I thought this was going to be a quite a, a stained shave, really. But it's it's turned out okay. I've been, been using the um, Astra's in it, and I've uh, been getting a great shave. This is a, a Persona, actually. It's a, it came with some old Personas, and I've been using those in it, uh, and Astra's. And uh, the old Personas aren't very good, but the Astra, you know, with an Astra in it, it works really well. Uh, so that's. That's how it breaks down. It's got a P on it. Big P on, on the bottom. Doesn't say where it's made though, you see. So I'm assuming it is actually, the box is right for it. Because the box looks like it's from the 60s or 70s. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna slot that to one side for a second. 
going to show you the next razor, uh, which I want to use once as well. Now this is a uh, Paragon. Uh, again, it looks brand spanking new. It looks, it looks like a really brand new razor. It might just be an old new razor, or a new old razor. An old new razor. It's an old razor. Because a few people have said that they had. People have seen these in like the grandfather's collections. You can see it it's sort of got a slight bend. Um, can you, I don't know if it's going to go into focus or not. It's, it's a great little razor. Uh, doesn't shave any close really. It's just a bit of a surprise. Because usually the old comb razors like this are usually quite quite close. Okay, looks a little bit like the the Merca 1904 copy. Have you noticed the, the sort of... Uh, general shape and size of it, almost identical in size. Uh, it's quite heavy, quite heavy. Um, and um, of course there's the old Merca, I'm going to use the Merca tonight anyway, so uh, it's, a, it's going to be a Merca with a, with a blue bed in it, so this, is, this could be interesting, couldn't it? Okay, uh, I'll put the blade in, stop talking, start lathering and then get shaving and uh, just pass a few comments really on, on stuff that's been happening uh, in Liverpool. We had, a, we had a giant about a month ago. We had this sort of festival that went on. It was to do with the Titanic and uh, we had these uh, about 2008 in the, uh, the capital culture, Liverpool's capital culture in 2008. And we had this uh, giant spider sculpture go around the city. As a follow up to this in 2012, we had the same French theatrical company do this thing with these, um, it's a giant girl and uh, her uncle and they went looking for each other across the city. It, was, it turned out to be really good, uh, everyone enjoyed it and um, this is the Calendula, there we go. It does lather up really well, let me just show you what it's like when you squeeze it. It's actually really good. Uh, and I'm going to throw something in my face. And, uh, what, basically happens with the calendula is it doesn't go on super thick but it, it actually coats really well there you go <clears throat> well, there's something I've never done before drop something okay so we've got a bluebird razor in there in the maker future it's on set number three and we're going to start with the uh, with the growth. Now I've never had the shave with the with the bluebird razor and not nick myself, so this should be quite interesting. Yeah, so this this uh, these giant sculptures, giant puppets. If you've not seen them, go on YouTube and put in there uh, Liverpool giants or. Uh, Titanic Festival um, and you'll see them, they're, they're absolutely marvellous, they, they, they use a crane and basically there's about 100 people working them but after a while watching them you forget, like most good puppetry you forget that you, you start losing the uh, puppeteers, you start not seeing the puppeteers and you're seeing the puppets and she danced and she, she had a dog with her and the dog followed her around Liverpool and uh, it's a great, great advert for the city. Um, and what else has happened? Well, we've got a new mayor. We have, we've now got an elected mayor. Liverpool has elected its first mayor. Uh, we have a Lord Mayor who wasn't elected. And now we've got a, the government to brought in this thing where we have a mayor. And that mayor has got more powers and responsibilities. Actually, financial responsibilities, financial powers. Okay, so we're going against the growth. Oh, no. And we're going down the chin line. It's the way I do it, other people do it differently, but every man to their own. I'm going down the jawline. With Bluebird blades performing really well tonight. Across the jawline, under the chin, and up. Okay. And with the last, um, last pass with the calendula soap. Big shave calendula soap, naked product placement, but there you go, it's only cheap. I'm only doing it for $1.99 a, a bar plus postage. If anybody fancies some, it'll be on eBay next week. Okay, let's get a bit more water on that. And 
this time we're going to go down the jawline <coughs> very close making sure that we do actually get everything off so it's a baby bum baby bottom shave down the chin and across the chin picking up any loose stragglers Pretty damn close. The good thing about this soap is it doesn't dry your skin out. So once you've gone over up one bit, you can go back. And because it's got the cleanser in it, the cleanser actually uh, makes your skin feel good. There we go. Okay, let's just get a few little pickups. Let me just put a little bit more on. face so we're going to go up there down there I think that's as close as I'm going to get let's go up one more time oh, that's really close so there you go Big Shave Zone branded product Calendula Soap I'm going to wash wash the soap off dry my face down <coughs> The next new product I've got is uh, come courtesy of Adam Massey in the Czech Republic. This is uh, Eau de Cologne from Alpe and it's, uh, it's a very lemony smell. There we go. I'm smelling that. Very brisk. It's, it's a bit like the Turkish lemon cologne but it's got a bit more depth to it. And there we go. Very, very refreshing. Um, the likelihood is as well we're going to be getting some of that in the eBay shop so uh, I'm just sort of working out with Adam the best uh, best um, <coughs> best way of sending it because uh, it's quite expensive so there you go that's the cologne I think I'm very bright at the moment with all this happening in my face and then finally a little bit of Arco oh it's going to focus <laughs> right so <laughs> Well, I'm, gonna do, I'm just going to continue, folks, because I can't, I can't figure out how to fix it. Oh, it's come back now. Here we go. I thought it was because I took my glasses off and it was all gone blurred, but it's not. Um, okay, so we've got a new man in Liverpool. We've got a bloke called Joe Anderson, who's a Labour. We've got a Labour... Uh, a Labour council run by the Labour Party. We've also now got a Labour mayor, so Labour have actually sewn it all up. I'm not, I'm not incredibly happy about it because I think power... What did he say? Power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts, absolutely. And it's not so much about corruption, really. It's about politicians being lazy. When there's no opposition to politicians, uh, they get a bit lazy and uh, they get a bit, a bit complacent. And sometimes they need a little bit of a kick at the backside. Let's put a bit more of this on. Some of the phones as well. Um, so, the jury's still out, really, on whether, they, you know, this, how the. And an elected mayor of Liverpool is going to be a good thing or not, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, it will be good for the city. And uh, it'll be successful. Okay, that's it now. Done. Put the colour on, so I don't need to put any aftershave on. Uh, face is feeling fantastic. And uh, hopefully, I'm going to get a few more out in the next two weeks. Um, and um, thanks for being so patient. Some people aren't as patient as that. And uh, I didn't get any death threats or, or anything like that. The people just kept wanting to know when it was going to happen. And now it's happened. So, um, 14 minutes is quite a long time for me, isn't it? It's goodbye for me, Steve Farragher. Uh, big shave. Don't forget to contribute to the Facebook group. Don't forget to join the Facebook group if you're not already on it. And uh, don't forget, I sell stuff on eBay. And if you want a sort of Arco soap or Arco cream or the Calendula soap, then uh, just go to the Facebook pages and it's there. And I'll see you soon. Okay, goodbye.